Hey, Barbell here with Cycling Strong. So most of you have seen the builds on all the bikes that we've done and behind me you see all these cool bikes and lots of fun stuff. But one thing I've talked about a little bit and I've tried to stress but probably haven't stressed it enough is power, power, power and how crucial a power meter is on your bike. And so I trained with the Compu Trainers this year in the winter and I'm here to tell you guys CompuTrainer is absolutely the only way to go. There are certain programs to plug with that, but your power numbers are so consistent. Now, the reason I went with CompuTrainer was because they have been around the longest and they're a proven company. So when I did my research also in the power meter industry, SRM, you know what? There's lots of different companies out there. You're gonna see that Pioneer has stuff out there, Cork has stuff out there, uh, there's uh, things in the pedals, Garmin's got stuff out there, all these different things. But when it comes to hardcore power and absolute dead accuracy, everybody compares themselves to the SRM. So I own a cork for my son Kobe, he rides a cork. I'm not saying that other powers don't, meters don't work, but if you're looking for true dead accuracy and what everybody's comparing everything to, it's the SRM. So. On this bike here, which is the Pinarello that we did the build on, if you haven't seen the build on this bike, go check it out. These wide industry hubs, these MV wheels, the TRP brakes, I mean, just to mention a few things, yeah, man, this bike is super cool. So to, to, to top it off, I put the uh, Shimano uh, components on this, the Durace, and I put an SRM power meter on here. Now, I love SRM. There's one thing I don't love about SRM, that's their head unit. Probably the only reason I don't like their head unit is I don't know how to run it as well as I know how to run the Garmin head unit and it does not upload straight to Strava. Like I have to go through a bunch of stuff and I know, I know, don't hate me, but I like to upload my stuff directly to Strava and that wouldn't work it. So I don't use their head unit, I use the Garmin head unit. I use the Garmin head unit on a K-Edge. If you're not using K-Edge out there, you guys, super cool product, but uh, I put my mount on that for the SRM and it just works absolutely perfect. And this SRM is just dead accurate. Every single time, my power files are perfect. My coach loves that. So I went one step further with the SRM and I put one also on my mountain bike. So this year when I do the Leadville 100 or if I'm doing Logan and Jackson, either bike, you'll be able to go on my uh, Strava or on any of the reports you want and see the actual power files for both of those. Um, if you want my weight and height and all that kind of stuff to figure stuff out, delighted to give it to you. But I put an SRM on this mountain bike with the XX1 on the uh, Scott full suspension. I've tricked this bike out too. Those of you that didn't uh, see the build on this bike, we built it with the NV wheels. We built it with the NV stem bars. Uh, and we did a, a XX1 build as far as all the componentry goes. And Race Face is the actual cogs that are behind this. And Race Face does an absolute amazing job. I was so excited to see that SRM and Race Face were working together because those of you that know when we built this fat bike, if, I don't know if you can see that right now, but this fat bike, we did it all with Race Face. And Race Face products are, as you all know, through the roof. So amazing companies from Envy, Race Face that we're working with and uh, just building these cool, the, uh, anyways, sorry to geek out on you, but cool bikes and just having lots of fun. But SRM on here, uh, super cool power meter, been using it. Once again, I run it off a Garmin head unit, uh, K-Edge and uh, mount on that works seamless, perfect. So anyway, um, if you're running power out there, would love to look, know what you're doing, how you're using it but I just went right back to the core of what's the best of the best and started researching that out and you just go right back to the SRM every time. That's what everybody compares to. So that's what I did and in the off season, the Compu Trainer. So anyway, would love your thoughts and uh, input on what you're doing and some of the cool things you're doing with power. But if you're not training with power, start training with power. I'm gonna talk about a couple of other things. If you haven't seen the Dave Harwood interviews that I do, um, I'm going to do a little bit on my power increase this year and working with Plan 7 and how that's changed my riding significantly. We'll be talking to you soon, but most of all, keep out there, have fun, and keep cycling strong.